Hi guys, so today we are going to make this. So first we are going to make the building. So shift A, image, image as plane, import the image of a building. We will go for this, antiguous alpha, import image as plane. This is the image. So first we will create one floor. So create an edge loop place it here delete the rest of the vertices now use edge loops and extrusion to create rough shape of the building you can press g twice to move the edges now extrude some faces inwards and some faces outwards now delete these top faces and the bottom faces yeah create the windows too you can give some detail for the windows but I am keeping it simple here now add an array modifier tick merge and then apply so we have one floor now now go to edit mode select everything shift D to duplicate R90 to rotate now move it here move these vertices so that it coincides as much as possible now select these vertices vertex merge vertices by distance now you can increase the value slightly so that all these vertices are joined now apply the rotation by pressing ctrl a rotation add an array modifier on z axis repeat as much as you want yeah now we got the building now we will append the wires that we made before file append so this is our wires Now place your camera somewhere here. And now we will go for the animation. Select the camera, press I, lock, root. Now go to a different frame. Move the camera forward and shift till to adjust the view of the camera. Make it something like this. I lock root. Now we have a moving camera. Now go to animation editor, pull out the graph editor. Now we will select the X rotation, N, then click modifiers, add noise. Now reduce the strength to something very less and increases A we just need a subtle amount of noise we'll add noise to Z location too add modifier noise reduce the string increases scale adjust end frame to around the last frame of the camera now we will animate the virus around here we will give it a i lock rot keyframe we will move it a little press r rotate the virus a little bit I lock rot now after some frames keep the virus somewhere here close to the camera 
I lock out. We got something like this. We'll move all the keyframes to around the end. Yeah, you got this animation. Now make it a bit dramatic. Select the last two keyframes. Interpolation mode, circular. Check if the async type is async. Now see, this is the animation curve of the animation. It starts the movement slowly and it will reach its peak when it's near the camera. So this is the effect we get. Now we'll do one more thing. We'll select these keyframes, duplicate it, and give move it two frames further. This will give a pause between these two actions. Play with the keyframes to get a good result. And we got the animation. Now we'll animate the camera for the camera shake effect at the end. Turn on motion blur in render settings. Now, around here, give it, give a keyframe, give a keyframe of rotation, now after two frames, press R twice, now move it like this, I rotation now move to more frames R move it somewhere like this I rotation so we apply two keyframes here yeah we got the effect now so now we'll set up the scene duplicate this building move it around here bring it down to make it look shorter duplicate it once more uh, duplicate the virus too delete all the keyframes now we will give the lighting give a sun lamp keep it somewhere like this keep the strength something like 5 to 10 between 5 to 10 something like this give an HDRI if you want HDRI will give something soft, soft shadow Yeah, would render settings film transparent. We'll reduce the strength of the background. Now we'll create one more image, image as plane. We'll select the clouds. You can use an HDRA if you want. I'm using this clouds picture because I like this more for this scene. Keep it somewhere far away from the camera. Something like this. In camera settings, select the camera, camera settings, and increase the clipping and clipping to something very huge. Now adjust the plane. In shading, you can delete and give it an emission texture. Here we go. Increase the emission. You can also play with the hue saturation values if you want. I'm reducing the saturation for this and a little bit darker. 
yeah and render settings turn on bloom ambient occlusion also select the light shadow click contact shadows for better shadows yeah now we got the scene and we'll set up some wires if you want curve bezier model this curve go to edit mode and model this curve to look like wires something like this will be good go to curve settings geometry increase the depth a little bit give it a black material duplicate this wire make it random something like this now you can also randomize the thickness randomness is the key to realism now we got the scene give it some sound effects and we are done thank you everyone for watching this subscribe my channel for more tutorials